In this technique, we are going to play with colors, but we will leave some white areas and create the wispy edges. The first step is to put alcohol and then put some drops of inks, whichever colors you like. Here I am putting a little bit of yellow and I am also putting a little bit of red. And then I am using the straw to gently merge them together. Don't blow too hard with your straw otherwise you will create those offshoots and lines in your painting. You can even blow directly with your mouth. Keep adding more color, more alcohol wherever you want to create that basic first step of creating a line with colors and inks. I am putting some more alcohol and adding some more inks in it. So this time I am adding some pink. And I am just using the straw to blend all these colors together. So this is the first step that you have to do is to create a section of colors with alcohol and your inks. You could do it in any direction in you know at the bottom of your page or in the middle or diagonally in your square sheet. Now observe your painting and see where you want the wispy areas to be. So I am going to put just alcohol in the area where I want the wispy edges. Put alcohol on the ink as well as outside the area and then you can either blow directly from your mouth like I did or you can use a straw to blow on it so that the blending can happen. You can twirl the paper gently to make sure that there is a white fade from the white side to the darker side and in case you get any offshoots like I did you can just pour some alcohol on top of it and blend it just like that. Wherever you want to go darker, you can keep adding more ink and then putting some alcohol around it and blending it. I just blow on it with my mouth. Be very gentle otherwise your ink will fly away. And you can keep doing this at other areas. Just make sure that when you are touching the previous one, just make sure that the previous one has dried before you move on to the next one. Put some alcohol on the ink as well as outside the ink and just blend it. Just enjoy the process and see how your painting is going and keep adding more color wherever you want it to be darker. Keep removing the color by adding alcohol and lightening those areas. Each time you work on an effect like this you will get different results. 
So just observe how your painting is looking and see where you can add more or reduce the color intensity or create those wispy sections. You can use your brush to gently create some lines or if your ink has clumped at some areas you can use your brush to merge it. And once you're done, you just leave your painting on a flat surface and allow it to dry. Make sure that your surface is flat otherwise your inks will start flowing in odd directions that you wouldn't want. And while it is drying, you might notice that some beads of water have come up and accumulated on top of your painting. This is because of either the moisture in the air or while you were blowing, you blew some droplets of moisture from your mouth. So you can use a tissue paper or a kitchen towel to gently dab on those droplets and pick up that excess water to clean up your work. Just dab very gently so that you do not pick up the ink but just those water droplets. You might even leave them if you don't want to pick them up. But I like to clean up the work a little bit. So a lot of wispy edges are there now and gradients. This is how the painting is looking. Once your painting has dried completely, you can do other techniques on top of this or use your spray bottle to spray from a distance so that you get a fine mist of spray and you create tiny dots instead of big, big ones. I hope you enjoyed this technique. I am looking forward to see how you use this technique to create different artworks. In this technique, we are going to create that color burst effect but we are not going to fill the whole paper with it and we will try to create those wispy edges. The first step is to put alcohol and then some drops of ink and then I will put gold on top of this. I will be using pinata brass. Make sure to shake your bottle really well before putting your metallic and always put it on a wet surface which already has your alcohol and inks. Now try to blow on it with your straw and try to create clumps of gold rather than that blooming effect. If you do not clump your gold, it will give you a shimmery kind of a look which you might not want. Now keep repeating the process in the random design that you would like to create. Put a few drops of alcohol, put a few drops of inks and then put your metallic color on top of it and blow it really gently to merge it and create the clumps of gold.
Each time you use your metallic color, don't forget to shake the bottle and always remember to put your gold on a wet surface which already has alcohol and ink. That is the best way to move your gold. If there is not enough alcohol and ink on the surface, your gold will not move so freely and you will face a problem in creating these kind of lines of gold. So this is how it looks till now and this is the first step you are going to do to create your art. You can even add some color directly wherever you want some darker shades or some more blending to happen and then just merge it like this. Now put some alcohol on the ink as well as around the ink which is on the white area and blow on it gently with your straw to create those wispy edges. When you use gold you might notice that it gets stuck on the surface. So you might have to use your brush to move that gold a little bit. Just observe your painting and see where you can have those wispy areas and put alcohol outside on the white surface as well as touching the ink. So when the inks get activated and start to move, you can blow on it with your mouth or with your straw. Or you can twirl the paper gently and bring the ink from outside towards the darker section of your painting. To remove these hard lines, you can put alcohol on top of these and blend it with your brush. I'm sorry, my brush was a little dirty, so I created a line instead of removing that. In case you create some mistake like this, you can always use a tissue and alcohol to wipe it. I'm going to add some more alcohol outside on the white part as well as a little bit on the ink so that the ink starts to move again. You will have to observe your painting and see where you want those wispy sections to be and keep adding more alcohol towards the edges, touching the ink as well as the white area and then just blending it a little bit with your brush. Because there was gold in it, it will get stuck to your paper. So you might need to use your brush to blow on it, to blend it gently and then you can blow on it with your mouth it's a slightly slow process so be patient let the previous gradient dry before you move on to the next one Here I'm adding some more ink to darken some of the areas if I want to.
So as you can see, I'm using a brush to gently remove the gold that has stuck to the paper. You can put alcohol right towards the edges to lighten some more. If there are certain areas that have formed and you don't like, you can wipe them while it is wet directly with a towel, paper towel. And now I'm using the paper towel to dab some of the water droplets that have come and are sitting on top of the painting while it is drying. You can even dip your tissue towel, paper towel in a little bit of alcohol and wipe certain areas that you think you do not want. And here I am picking up some of those moisture droplets that have formed on the painting. And that's how it's looking right now. It has almost dried, so I will set it aside to dry completely. I hope you like this technique and I'm looking forward to see your art.